Love and compassion. The strength that she carries, no matter how old she gets, she never loses her inner strength. Dear mama, the volume of your strength is like a mighty tender. More valuable than a dollar. No replacement of the love you gave me, and no replacement of my self awareness. First comes mother love. For where there's a world, there's always a passion to search the truth you need for your son to be successful. Dear mama, your loving kindness has helped me to crawl through my infancy and able to stand on my feet. I'm here in the space you made, flickering lights that begin to fade. Just fall back the page and watch the world. Mama, I'm here in the space you were in. Today I still see your beauty, not only in your face, but also the inner of your soul. The doorway to your heart is the place where love resides. As for me, memories is what I have. A woman of noble character. How can I forget the good things you've done for me? Taking me to school before going to work. Facing the family food every now and then in the kitchen. Teaching me how to speak the language of communication Watching the West tumble Side to side on mass apart Your love never dies I'm here in the space you made Flickering lights that begin to fade Just fall back the page And watch the world Mama, I remember how you taught us to live generously and humbly towards one another. I remember how you taught us our outward appearance is important as our heart. I remember the many land trees you washed to keep us clean. I also remember in the days of suffering and the days of frustration, you helped me through the crisis. I think of how you used to say the best in life will come my way. I think of how you used to empower me. Only true experience of struggles is when I was so strengthened. You saw back the pages, back to the start, first comes mother love. I'm here in the space you made, flickering lights that begin to fade. Just fall back the page and watch the world. Hi, my name is Ursula Kendall Johnson. I'm a native of Atlanta, Georgia. I am a dancer, choreographer, and producer. I met Justice. I was asked to do um, a show with poet um, and Def, with Def Jam poet Teresa Davis um, at the Windows and Mirrors performance downtown um, last year. And I ran into Justice. He came up to me and he was like, "You're dope. I like what you're doing." And I would like for you to do something similar to that to what I'm doing as well and I listened to his music 
and it was just inspirational, you know, and it was right up my alley. I, it, it, it told a story, which I love to, um, storytelling through dance. So that's how we met, and now I'm on his project, and thankful for being here. I am not a mother, um, <laughs> but I own three dogs, <laughs> so woohoo, dog mothers. But I do have a mother, and um, I am the only child, and so is my mother. And so we have this true friendship, mother-daughter bond. She's been, she is my backbone, you know. I can call on her for anything. She has never missed one dance performance, recital, production. She is the ideal mother, and I could have picked a better mother to have in this world. So happy Mother's Day to my mother, Karen Kendall. Love you. Many call me Mama Frankie, so that's how I'll introduce myself as Mama Frankie. I met Justice at uh, the church I was going to at the time, and I still attend, which is First African. Someone had told me that there was a young man in the congregation that had come from Ghana, and I visited Ghana quite often. Um, I have uh, adopted a village, the name of which is Banyure where they make the kente cloth, and I've been adopted into the family of the Akonas, which is one of the original uh, families in the Ashanti tribe. And so I was very excited to hear that there was a young man that was also Ashanti. So I came up to him and spoke in his native tree, Bohotasain, which means, how are you? And he looked at me with bewilderment, as if to say, what in the world is this lady doing speaking tree? So after that, um, he started to come to my home, and it just felt so natural. It felt like my son. I mean, he was just the love of my life and still is the love of my life. Many weekends, he, he has come to my home, and he would lay on the floor next to my feet and just be so content just to be around me, and that really did warm my heart. Justice and I met around the latter part of 2003. And since the time I met him, he was dreadlocked and beautiful locks and looked like a lion from Africa. And since then he decided, to my begrudgement, that he would cut his hair. I'm still not happy about that, but as many other things, you must accept what your children decide that they want to do with their lives because it is their lives. He's also grown philosophically in many, many ways. He's probably done a 360 degree turn. And it's great because he's growing inwardly, outwardly, and that's what parents want for their children to grow not to be stagnant. And we have many, many interesting nights of conversation. When he doesn't want to look at TV with me, he doesn't want that frivolous activity. He wants to get very serious and get deep. And he challenges how I think, and that's what I also love about him, because I don't want to be stagnant as well. Even though I'm going to be 60 this year, I still want to be fresh, fresh ideas and new ways of thinking. Hello, I'm Kinesia, and this is Tamia. What grade are you in, baby? Fourth. What school? Abigail Elementary. Okay, and this is Tatiana, my other daughter. Hi. What grade are you in? Fifth. And what school? Avondale Elementary School. Yes. Okay, um, I initially came into contact with Justice via Facebook, and we mingled in the same mm -hmm. kind of circles, and uh, he, it gave me the invitation to work with him earlier this year, 2012. And we've collaborated on three songs. Uh, 
the one that we collaborated on together, songwriting as a duo, was Somewhere in Time, which is the girl's favorite. <laughs> and um, it's been a pleasure. It's been a very, very, very interesting uh, intellectual situation going on in the studio with DK. And uh, I guess he, he asked me to do this tribute uh, because I'm a mother of a nine and a 10 year old single mother, a majority of their lives. And they are a true blessing. They are a complete blessing. And watching them grow and go through the trials, it's reckless sometimes. <laughs> but I'm very proud to be a mother, very, very proud. My mother uh, was a single mother and uh, we come upon situations where we're trying to break generational curses, that sort of thing. But my mother instilled the values that it is very important to handle your business and to be responsible and be reliable. And those are the values that I have worked very, very diligently to instill in my daughters that no matter what's going on around you or what comes, you know, what, what may come, you still have to be responsible for yourself. And to try your best at every single thing. Let me tell you guys that with your schoolwork, I need 100% of your effort completely. And they know that we have honor roll kids, perfect attendance. I'm, you know, they're, they're pretty well in school. Um, but those are the kind of values and morals that I believe that are very, very important for us to have been taught as women and for us to teach our children as well. That, I mean, this world can be a crazy place, but you can have complete control based on who you allow in your circles, what you choose to deal with, what you choose to walk away from. And as long as they have that, I believe they will be very, very successful. I am a paralegal and I have a legal administrative company, uh, Ulterior Inc. It's spelled U-L-T-E-R-I-O-R-I-N-C. And we draft contracts and we, um, all sorts of contracts dealing with music um, from the artist, the producer, management, studio, record label, publishing, uh, venues, and then we also process copyrights as well. And you can reach us on Facebook at U-L-T-E-R-I-O-R dot I-N-C, and you can also reach us by email, uh, Ulterior Inc., U-L-T-E-R-I-O-R inc at yahoo.com originally uh justice invited me to do the vocals on stream of love and once we got in there and the spirit was in there we we were doing our thing he asked me to also contribute my vocals to uh, save our souls which is all three songs those two i just mentioned in somewhere in time are very very inspirational uplifting tracks and i'm grateful for that opportunity because it's a bit different from what's going on in mainstream but it is something that's missing not only in our generation as adults but in these children's generations as well so save our souls it, it really really speaks to me if you guys get an opportunity listen to the lyrics very very carefully somewhere in time as well because those are very very the message the underlying message is very very important very 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 important and that's my personal opinion and i'm sure that when you guys hear it you will feel the same way that i feel <laughs> my name is tamia You can. Yes, yes, Fernander. Mm -hmm. Grade four. Av I go to Avondale Elementary School. Mm -hmm. Happy Mother's Day. I love you. Goodbye. Thank you. My name is Tatiana Fernander. I'm in fifth grade and I go to Avondale Elementary School. And I love you, Mommy. I love you too, cute.